This is a story about the Beverly Taylor Sorensen Arts Learning Program. That's a mouthful, huh? Well, let me break it down. Beverly Taylor Sorensen believed that art brings joy into the lives of children, and she worked tirelessly to create and fund a program that would place art specialists in Utah elementary schools. Art specialists, that's right. They are very important in this story. My name is Ashley Boyack, and I am a BTS ALP dance specialist at Redwood Elementary, and it is a fabulous school. The BTS program is vital for children in the learning process. They come to school and they sit a lot, and that's part of school, and we understand that's part of learning. But oftentimes, there are students who desperately need to get up and move to learn, and using their kinesthetic sense to explore their world. I work in a school that is a Title I school. We have lots of children from all over the world that don't speak English. And coming to dance is sometimes the best part of their day because they can express themselves. One thing that started happening was more people started doing it and so I felt comfortable. This is Aisha Yarrow and she's in fourth grade at Redwood. And when she started teaching us about the stuff we were doing in class. The BTS specialists integrate the arts into the core subjects of reading, math, science, and history. She's really great at asking us what we need as teachers, what we would like emphasize maybe concepts that our kids are struggling with. She's always checking with us to see what we're learning so that she can be supporting our curriculum as well as doing her own. The negative and positive space you just experienced, how does that relate to something we've been talking about in school? Intrusive. Good, the intrusive rocks that are inside the earth, right? In the fourth grade class, they were experiencing the ideas of weathering and erosion. Weathering break it down. And that translates beautifully into our bodies because what do our bodies do all the time? They're constantly moving and constantly going Travel. from high One, to low. Two, three, four. Think about what I'm looking for. Ooh, I love this. It, it becomes alive to them because they're sensing it. I mean, I guess that's the main thing is it's through their, their body, their senses, and it just it becomes part of them. And you see it, and you see them just so happy to be there. It's a happy, happy time for them. The biggest thing that I've noticed with art being a part of the environment at Redwood is the engagement and the excitement of the students about what's going on at the school. Miss Ashley's been a joy to work with. She feels with the children, she gets down on their level, she's so positive with them, and she's opened up a world to them. Oh, when I dance, like, it feels like released stress. This feels fun to me, and I think everyone should have a chance to just feel that emotion. The BTS program reaches across the state of Utah, providing hundreds of thousands of students with an arts-rich education. The focus of the program is on dance, visual art, theater, and music. Speaking of music, take a look. Working with our BTS specialist has been amazing. Susan always comes prepared with such enriching activities and I feel like she has such a creative approach to teaching content and that's amazing for me because she can often reach them in a different way than I can just in the regular classroom. I teach music because I feel that it is one of the best ways of connecting people. Everybody can do it. It's a wonderful community building thing and it's something that they can carry with them until they're old, until they sing in the retirement home. It's a gift to give a child music and I was given that gift and I want to share it with other people. Oh good, alright. So I have eight stations set up and we're going to just make a piece about your planet. She enraptures my students when, when they're there, they're 100% engaged. They have to work together, cooperate, and try out some things and make these decisions. So they're, they're doing cooperative learning and cooperative group work, which we know is part of real life. At the end of the class, we often evaluate what we just did. It gives them a chance to think through what they've done and it gives them a chance just to enjoy each other and sort of celebrate their work, but it also helps them to think through how things were put together. And then it was quieter, ding, quieter, ding, quieter. 
I never would have thought of that. I thought that was a terrific idea. Some groups did their music together and it kind of sounded like a real planet and I was there. We kind of made mistakes, but we tried to roll with it and try to like make it like with our main idea. One of the most important things to me at Canyon Room Academy as the principal is the climate and culture of our school. And we value peace and joy and love and learning and uh, music and art just strengthen those values. By integrating arts into learning, schools have seen higher test scores and improved retention, attendance, and self-esteem. I feel when I create something, I feel so proud of myself. And when I love it, when I feel like I've really accomplished something, I have to show, ev I have to show everybody. Rosie Mitchell is a BTS specialist at Woodrow Wilson Elementary School. I think you're gonna like her. And then we're going to leave room up here for our flower and we're going to carve into this the most beautiful flower to show the world this process. Today in class the students are working on a printing project where they create a template to be printed without a press. And they begin to carve something they've been studying about plants, planting a seed. They've already planted their seeds and watched them sprout and grow. And so to take that into the art room and reinforce it and it becomes them. To me, someone that uh, is involved with music and art and dance and those type of things, they're becoming a well-rounded person. Every child needs art. And a, an example of that is the way we dress, the way we organize things in our bedroom or in their desk, or the way we play, the way we move, is is all an art and it becomes our art and the more at a young age we can endure those artistic experiences that's when we truly become who we are. I have been impressed to see things I didn't think my daughter could do or was in her. It's given me an opportunity to to, to see her soul, to see who she is and to see what is going on in her head and what's going on in her heart. The Beverly Taylor Sorensen Arts Learning Program is now available to all elementary schools in Utah. Support for the program comes from ongoing funding from the legislature and from Friends of Artworks for Kids. Friends of Artworks for Kids is a group that advocates for the BTS program. So become a friend. You can support the art specialist at your school, and if you don't have one, Friends of Artworks for Kids can help you find out how to get one. And finally, one last thought from Ms. Rosie Mitchell, who said that successful people are not good at what they do because of a standardized test or how well they did in school. They're good at what they do because they found their art. That's what it's all about. <laughs>